out doing a little tree stand maintenance at the proving grounds today, but we're also going to be sharing some tips for creating a hidey hole food plot. This hunting location's got a lot of great things going on. Of course, there's a bedding area just to our south here, south facing slope, great cover. During the pre-rut and rut, bucks are running this ridge looking for receptive does that are seeking cover. We've got a north facing slope just back over the ridge. So we've got hardwood timber, bedding area coming together all along the top of this ridge. That hard edge is a great travel corridor for deer. There's also a very subtle saddle in the ridge right out in front of the stand. This little saddle is a great travel corridor for deer crossing the mountain. There's a lot of terrain features that are pinching deer into this area just naturally, but we're gonna make it even better with a hidey hole food plot because adding that attractive food source, well, that's just another bottleneck and that'll bring deer within range. We really like this area because we don't have to do a lot of startup work. Some of the work's already been done for us. Years ago, this bedding area was covered with eastern red cedars. Chainsaw crew came in, felled the cedars. We've used prescribed fire to convert it back to native grasses and forbs. The habitat's doing great. There's a lot of sunlight reaching the ground. It's very rich and a lot of diverse species. Since sunlight's already reaching the ground, we don't need to do anything to open up the canopy. If we're creating a hidey hole food plot in the timber, we may need to use a chainsaw, cut a few trees, open up the canopy enough, allow sunlight to hit the ground, and allow our seed to germinate and create great forage. Sunlight's key whether we're creating native habitat or food plots. Someone's already done the work for us, we just got to take it to the next level. What we're going to do is we've already mapped out with blue tape the border of our food plot. We're just going to come in, backpack spray this area, terminate the native vegetation here, we're going to come in with a hand broadcaster and plant seed when rain's coming. Growing Deer is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Also by Reconics, Eagle Seed, Winchester, Avian X Decoys, Lacrosse Footwear, Morel Targets, Bong, Hooks Custom Calls, Summit Tree Stands, RTP Outdoors, Fleet, Yamaha, Fourth Arrow, Onyx Hunt, Burris Optics, Scorpion Venom Archery, Case IH Tractors, Bloodsport Arrows, Code Blue, Decode, G5 Broadheads, Prime Bows, and Redneck Hunting Blinds. Well, just about a week ago, we came in and sprayed this little hidey hole food plot up on top of this ridge. Today, we're going to do a little prescribed fire, if you will. We're going to burn off the duff of this hidey hole food plot, prepare the seed bed. We've got rain in the forecast here in the next few days. So we're going to burn off the duff and then we'll come in while it's raining and broadcast seed. The reason we want to burn this duff off is we want that seed to get good seed to soil contact. We also want sunlight reaching the ground so those seeds can germinate and come on strong. The guys came in, they weed eated and backpack blew a line all the way around. So we have a fire break. We're just gonna burn the inside. You can get the same type of result if you're in the timber and you got a bunch of leaves. You can backpack blow a line, burn off your area, prepare the seed bed, and have great seed to soil contact. The fire break is prepared. Our vegetation is, is dry, it's pretty warm today. So we should have a pretty good burn. We're gonna light her up and it shouldn't be long before this is black. All right, I need you guys ready with a, with a rake over here. Rake it all, we'll always rake it into the fire. Because that's where that's where your fuel is. Rake it out, rake it into the fire. 
going nice and slow. I want to back it in here. We got a little strong wind through here. So going nice and slow, just let it back in, get a black line on, on this side. And then once we let it back out through there, we'll kind of ring it around. It won't go anywhere because there's no fuel on this side. So we're just going slow, let it back in. It's going well. Yeah, it's burning a lot better than the other one, dude. That's for sure. Of course, I've got my fire gear on because Clay and I were on a prescribed fire earlier this afternoon. Got done with it. Figured might as well come over and burn this little hidey hole. So just left my gear on. It's perfect burning conditions. Had a great little fire here burning off the duff of this hidey hole food plot and thrilled with the results. We've got just all the duff taken off. We're gonna have great seed to soil contact when we come in and broadcast. Rain's forecasted here in the next day or two. We'll probably wait and broadcast right during the rain. That's because we get great seed to soil contact and we have great moisture. You know, fall food plots we're often broadcasting a very small seed it doesn't take much to get that seed covered in fact when it hits the ground a raindrop hits the ground it will actually splash enough soil over that seed to cover it and it's perfect environment for that seed to germinate i'm really excited about this food plot you know it lays perfectly like we talked about with hard edges travel corridor little saddle in the ridge and one thing that I really like about this is we approach from the east. We actually have a two track lane right along the top of this ridge. We can drive the Yamaha down this ridge, approach from the east, and we'll most likely hunt it on a south wind where that wind is blowing our scent back over the ridge. Deer in this bedding area won't know we're in the world. We can slip in and deer come up to us stop at this hidey hole food plot and they're in range of the summits. This is gonna be a great stand during the pre-rut when bucks are cruising this ridge, scent check in the bedding area. They'll stop by and grab a bite. I suspect we're gonna have a lot of great hunts from here this fall. We're gonna be broadcasting Eagle Seeds Fall Buffalo Blend. We're also gonna be adding a little clover in there as well just to make it a great attraction up here on this little hidey hole food plot. We've measured out the clover, we're mixing it in with the fall buffalo blend. Of course, we burned off the duff, which released nitrogen into the air. So we're adding a legume. It's gonna fix nitrogen, pull nitrogen out of the air back into the soil, and it's a great attraction. We're gonna get this all mixed up, pour it in the broadcaster, and we're gonna head out and start spreading seed. Gonna start broadcasting and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go this way across the plot and then I'll spread this way. I'm only gonna have my gate open just a little on my broadcaster and I may do this a couple times both ways, but I wanna make sure I get an even distribution throughout the entire Heidi Old food plot. I don't wanna run out of seed before I'm done. So I wanna get a good distribution, great seeding rate, and that way this plot can express its full potential. I don't have too many plants growing in one spot out competing each other and producing low quality cords. All right, so I finished going east and west all the way across the plot. Still have a lot of seed left, so I'm gonna start going north and south probably still have seed left and I'll start going east and west again. So just making sure I have great distribution of my seed. So better to go slow, get it done right, than to go too fast and use up too much seed. So here we go.
just finished broadcasting this hidey hole and rain's on the way. Within the next few days, this seed should germinate and we're less than a month away to hunting season. So this is going to be a great hidey hole food plot, great hunting location later for this fall, especially during the pre-rut when bucks are cruising this ridge. They're going to come in, grab a bite to eat, and be right within range of the pair of summits. We have a bunch of videos where we share lots of information about hidey hole food plots, hunting strategies, and share some great hunts on those hunting locations. If you want to see that information, check out our YouTube channel. Whether you're scouting for acorns, planting hidey hole food plots, or maybe season's already opened where you hunt, I hope you get outside and enjoy creation. But more importantly, I hope you slow down, listen to what the Creator's saying to you, and the purpose He has for your life. Thanks for watching Growing Deer. Mm -hmm.